I'm Lori Grunin, and this is the Canon PowerShot G16. The G15 was a good enthusiast compact, and the G16 is a respectable follow-up to that model. Though it uses the same sensor, lens, and pretty much everything else, it's generally a lot faster with a tweaked body and roughly the same photo quality. New features include pretty meh Wi-Fi support and a bump to 1080-30p video, plus some long exposure night shooting modes. It's large with a shallow grip, but it feels solid and substantial. I still miss the articulated LCD that Canon dropped two generations ago, but the optical viewfinder is surprisingly quite usable. The controls remain pretty easy to access and operate, though I still think the placement of the front dial is awkward, and the record button is too hard to feel and press. And the more I use it, the more annoyed I get by the function menu operation. You have to press the button again to dismiss it. It really should automatically go away when you press another control, like the menu button. While JPEG photos don't really stand up to a pixel peeping level of scrutiny beyond ISO 200, you can get more mileage out of raw files as high as ISO 800, even for prints. I think Canon has pushed the 1 over 1.7 inch sensor as far as it can go, even at 12 megapixels. The G16 is a lot speedier in most respects than the G15 though using RAW is still noticeably slower than JPEG. The continuous shooting is significantly better, up to 5.8 frames per second with autofocus. The low light focus still feels a bit sluggish though. While it doesn't offer best-in-class photo quality like the more expensive Sony RX100, it does have the viewfinder and hot shoe that the Sony lacks, and it remains a good all-around option for advanced photographers who like unibody pocketability. I'm Laurie Grunin, and this is the Canon PowerShot G16.